Hey, how's it going, guys? So just a quick video here in response to a question that I had about printing the effects um, when we're running through DSP. Um, you know, there's a way to do this, but it's a bit of a workaround. It's pretty much the same um, with any plugin, um, whether it's being run natively or DSP. And um, I figured I would just show that real quick. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm using Logic here. And um, this would work in any DAW. It would really work with any plugin, you know, what I'm suggesting. I don't believe that there's a way um, with the Apogee dual path um, effects to, um, to, print, to print the audio. You know, essentially opening the plugin, uh, running on DSP power from the interface and recording through that um, effect and, and having that audio printed, I, I don't believe that there's a way to do that as of now. Um, so if, if somebody wanted to do that, um, the easiest way that I know of doing that is, um, you know, it would be essentially, um, you know, creating your audio track and opening the plugin on that track. Um, in this case, uh, you know, I'll do the EQ because I can just, um, you know, really alter the sound in a way that's pretty obvious. And I'll just do a high pass filter, like really high, um, and link this to my analog input one. Um, so now this plugin is running on DSP power. Okay, so the, what I want to do is um, open up a send, um, send this audio to another track. Um, I'll put the send level at Unity. Um, so I'll create another audio track here. Um, and that audio track is going to record the input. Its input will be bus one, the bus that I just created. All right, so I have this second audio track now that's going to record the audio that's being sent from the first track. Okay. So my input is bus one. This is nothing's going to happen here other than it's just going to um, be set to record. Okay, so let's record a little bit of this. Test one two. Test one two. Check, check, check. Okay, so the first track um, I was using. Um, that's where the effect is, and I'm monitoring through that effect. Um, so if I solo that and play it, it should sound um, like it's been high-passed. Test, one, two, test, one, two. Uh, but if I uh, bypass the plugin, test, one, two, test, it's unaffected. Um, but the second track um, is going to be printed with the effect on it. So let me solo this track. Test, one, two, test, one, two, check, check. So there you have it. That's um, what I know of as a way to um, print um, or record with the effects printed on them. So I hope that's useful.